hi guys it's Wendy from Fingersticks Gallery so I hope everybody had a fantastic 4th of July I know we did kind of got ourselves wore out with all the young kiddos running around but um, I'm gonna do a floating cup pour with these little tiny little cups and we actually got these suckers at a sushi restaurant and they served it was actually a conveyor belt sushi restaurant and they served the, the sauces and such in these little tiny cups so we are going to do a three floating cup pour today. So last time I tried a color shift paint. This is actually the one that I videotaped and there was a little bit left in the cup. So I also did this one. So it, it turned out really great. Um, the lighting, lighting isn't really picking up the, the color shift on this very well, but um, so I had a little more left in the cup and I just did this oval but it's now dry and it's it's beautiful um take it out in the sunshine and the red is more like a red and a copper and the black is it's kind of like a gold and black if you turn it sideways so i'm really happy i'm i'm excited this was a wing pour and i can't wait to epoxy this um when it's cured i'm gonna probably wait a good month or two before i do that but it turned out wonderful i'm i was super happy with it uh the consistency was a little tricky to get right but i'm gonna do it again all right, so our colors today, uh, Burnt Umber from Apple Barrel. The background color is going to be this cream from Anita's, which I love this. I make a cream color for almost all of my backgrounds. This is close to what I use, so I'm just going to keep buying this color. The turquoise teal is going to be a mixture of the Anita's turquoise. It's the light turquoise in Apple Barrel Caribbean. And the gold is going to be uh, the royal gold from Folk Art. So... Oh, and this is just a combination of some red and orange that I had almost, my bottles were almost empty, so there's a, only a little tiny bit in this guy. I've added a just a tiny bit of oil. I probably added so little that it may not make a difference, but all of my colors today are only going to be Floetrol. I didn't add anything else. Normally, I add a mix of Floetrol and Elmer's Glue All. Not doing that this time. It's only the Floetrol and a little bit of water. So I did add a little bit of water to the cream color because I want it, this is going to be the background, I wanted it to be just a little bit more uh, fluid. Alrighty. So this color combination actually came about because I had a shower curtain and I looked at it and I loved the colors. And I'll show you one pour that I did Oh shoot, it was forever ago. Um, there was actually a couple techniques on this guy. I'm not going to do yellow or the purple right now, but these were all the colors in my shower curtain. So <laughs> I thought they were neat together. So this one, uh, the purple veins were actually uh, just 50% Floetrol, 50% uh, glue all, and I added mica pigment to it. So that's how the purple is is standing out a little bit more because once you do that, it's going to dry clear anyway, and it really showcases um, any glitter or the uh, mica powder pigment that you might put in there. So that's a good technique too. But anyway, the only colors I'm not really putting in here are the purple and the yellow. So that was my shower curtain pour. Alrighty, so hopefully I'm going to scoot this guy up a little bit. So hopefully you guys can see this. I'm only going to add a little bit to these little cups. Uh, there's another wonderful artist online, um, and I, I think her last name is uh, maybe Ritterhoff. Uh, she's a wonderful artist. This this little tiny cup technique, she does um, a lot, but I think she does hers with like the bottle caps. So um, I'm using her for a little bit of inspiration for these little teeny tiny cups. So I've done floating cups before, um, just not, not quite like this. I've never done it with only Floetrol before. So it should be pretty interesting to see what happens. Um, in the past, I've used only Floetrol and it gives it a really, really great kind of a lacing effect, which I really love a lot. So this brown thickened up quite a bit. So I'm kind of hoping that it gives us a little bit of that lacy effect again. Add a 
little more to this guy. All right, so it's pretty basic and I almost think, I think I am gonna add a little bit of yellow. So I'm gonna kinda goof up my, actually, you know what, I'm not. I am gonna add the yellow, I lied. So just a little squirt of yellow paint and then I'm probably doing about two thirds of the flow trawl versus paint. It just didn't have enough kick. So I am going to get add the yellow that was in my shower curtain. It's a little, little bit thinner than what I normally do. So then I'm going to add just a teensy bit of oil to this because all the rest of them have it. Um, I'm only doing just a tiny, tiny drop. So if you've only, if you've seen my other video, uh, the treadmill silicone oil took a jump off my table and broke the lid. So I put it in this syringe, but the syringe drops are super tiny. They are so much smaller than, um, what comes out of the, the treadmill silicone oil bottle. So let's do a dollop right in the middle of him and him. All right. And be careful guys, if you're buying, buying Floetrol, this is the latex based, uh, Floetrol. There's also oil based. So make sure you get the, the latex based, although we are using acrylics, that's, that's what they have. So make sure you get the right one. All right. So I mixed the white pretty heavily. So I'm going to torch this to get the bubbles out. All right. Try to get you more centered. Okay. So we're going to do a flip cup and then a floating cup. So hopefully it'll be a floating cup. We're just going to kind of do a zigzag pattern with these guys. So I'm going to let the paint release a little bit. And I didn't add any extra silicone. Normally when I do these, I add the silicone spray from WD-40 make sure it's the silicone spray. It works way better than the regular WD-40 because I've tried it. So I normally coat the cups with that spray and it helps it release the paint because you're adding oil anyway. This time I didn't because I don't necessarily want all the paint. I want a lot of negative space. I do want negative space, but I'm gonna try to hook all these colors together. So this cream is quite a bit thinner. It does make a little bit of a mound, but it dissipates pretty quickly. So that's the background. So these other colors, it makes a mound. Uh, it makes like a, like a soft serve ice cream type of mound. So that cream color is a lot thinner. So you can already see it coming out the outside a little bit, but I am going to let him just sit there and chill for just a second. So, um, yeah, we had a great fourth. We, um, played with a bunch of family. In fact, my husband's family, um, some of them came over from Japan and they have a new baby. Um, my little sister, bless her heart. She just graduated high school and she would die. She was diagnosed. Um, I think she was still 17 with stage four ovarian cancer. Um, and then when they got in there and they, they took all the cancer out and they downgraded it actually to a three, three B or three C. So she went through a lot with um, chemo and surgery and her and her boyfriend came up for the fourth and she is bouncing back so quickly and looking amazing. So um, the fourth, not only celebrating our nation's birthday, um, but that was a blessing too, to see her out and about feeling so much better. So hopefully she will stay a success story. Love my little kid sister. All right. Now I'm going to move these guys around just a little bit because it's still coming out the edges, making that pretty lacing. drag him over a little bit more. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So that looks, that looks really great already. Um, 
I try so flipping hard to make negative space paintings, but I over pour or I always put too much paint in. So thank you to, um, and I, I believe your last name is uh, Ritterhoff, I want to say. Um, you are a savior because you've really taught me, and I am still a beginner, to the less paint is better when you're doing negative space. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you so much. Um, so we're going to let this set for a second. And again, guys, this is only flow troll and paint and uh, just a tiny bit of water in the, the background to thin it out a little bit. So, and there's just a teensy bit of oil. And again, I probably didn't even need to put any oil in this. Um, but we're letting it sit for a second and I'm going to spread it out. I think it's done spreading. almost apprehensive to, to stretch this little guy because it looks, I might leave it. It almost looks like a dragon. You know what? I am going to just, I'm going to stop. I'm going to leave it just like that. Um, and since the paint is kind of thick in the middle, uh, and I added water, I'm actually going to tent this with a box and put some plastic over it to slow it down. Cause this looks like a dragon head with a little poke on his nose. I, I don't know. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to touch it. It's going to stay the way it is. Um, and, but I am going to torch it just slightly cause I can see bubbles. If you look at the side. So I love it. Now folks, if you do this, please know that you are going to come back in a half hour, hour, and it's going to morph a little bit. It's going to look a little bit different. You're going to maybe have some more, um, lacing on the outsides. But this is, I wanted to show you, and I, I really wanted to try a new technique with me, show you what happens if you only use uh, the flow trawl as your pouring medium. And so far, I love it. I might actually do this again, but with no oil. Uh, so I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. So hang on. So I'm going to turn it this way. I, honest to goodness, I think it looks like a dragon. It's kind of flying with his wings tucked back. So I'm going to leave him alone. Um... Anyway, uh, there's only one color in here that has the metallic and I, I really only like using one or two colors once in a while because the, over, the metallic can really overtake a painting. Um, but he's beautiful. I'm going to call him my little baby dragon or something. So, um, anyway, folks, um, I'm really happy. So this is a prime example of don't ever be afraid to be a beginner because I just tried something brand new and absolutely love it. So Hope you guys have fun and hope you everybody had a great 4th of July and really understand uh, what our Independence Day means and how it came about. And God bless America. God bless everybody out there. And please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until uh, next time, you will see me soon.